Hello, good morning. I hope the Word of God meets you well this morning. Child of God, if you allow God, God will ultimately save you. He will always save you. It doesn't matter how deep you have dug yourself into the ditch. He will come around and dig you out. The reason is because you're a family. You're a member of God's family. Imagine a mother who has a baby in her hands. She would not let anything hurt her baby. And what is even stronger is that the Word of God says that even if a woman should forget the baby at her bosom, God will never forget you. These are very reassuring words. This morning, as we read from the prophecy of Micah, chapter 7, from verses 14 to 20, we are at the end of this text. Micah was basically the prophet of fidelity. He was that prophet who continuously reminded the people, stop going astray. I don't know what you guys are doing. You are sinning against God. God is not happy with you. But he ends his prophecy today on a very hopeful note that God is going to trample underfoot their iniquities. God is going to forget their guilt of the past and save the remnant of the people of Israel. Good news. But why does God do that? The reason is because his people were family to him. No one abandons a member of the family that you truly love. In the gospel reading of this morning, taken from the gospel according to St. Matthew, um, chapter 12 from verses 46 to 50, to 50, we find that Jesus is in the temple area preaching to his disciples and telling them about the kingdom of God, telling them about nice things. And then members of his family come around. And of course there was a big crowd around him. But notice what happened. Because they were family, they were able to put word across, across the entire crowd to Jesus and told him, we want to see you. When was the last time you talked to Jesus like he were your brother? When was the last time you knew that there was someone in heaven speaking on your behalf whose name is Jesus? When was the last time you truly realized that your relationship with God is not just a relationship of servant and master, that your relationship with God is that of father and son? And then you asked him for things like one who knows his or her rights. Child of God, it's important that we remember this, that we are family to God. We are family to Jesus. When Jesus heard the message that his family was looking for him, what did he do? He asked them, who is my family? And everyone looked around like, we, are, we, we should know the answer to that. Mary is your mother, your cousins and your relatives. They are your family. Jesus shook his head, but didn't say anything. Shook his head to say, of course, that's my biological family. But then I have another family. You, in front of me, can become a member of my family. If only you would do the will of him who sent me. Child of God, this is what is great news for us. That Jesus considers you and I as members of his family. Not just Mary and Joseph and the other cousins and nephews that he had. They were great members of his family. But you too, myself, we have also become members of his family. And that changes something. That's the last thing I'd like to say. When you become a member of a family, they don't do to you, the things they do for you is not a question of charity. It's a question of right. It's a matter of what you deserve because you belong to that family. If your father dies and wills to you his property, he's not doing charity to you. If your father dies and you discover that he willed to you his property, it was your right because you are his heir. You remember that song? We are hers. Of the Father, we are joint as we the Son, we are children of the kingdom, we are family, we are one. Child of God, you are family to God. That's why He's not going to abandon you. No matter how far gone you have been, He's coming to save you. May the mighty God bless you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.